been hitting them for six. We've been serving them up. We've been fighting fires. We've been dodging floods. Now it's game day. Got nowhere to change. Where well, the demons from the bush in our roof's real bad. We got leaks in the back and our gut has got a sack. We need a new clubhouse and we need it bad. Where well, the demons from the bush and we need Holden's hand. Need a power upgrade, our gear's falling apart. Need more power, to keep the showers burning hot. We survived the rain, and we survived the drought. Now the drought's broke, we're still down for the count. Where well, the demons from the bush in our roof's real bad. We got leaks in the back and our gut has got a sack. We need a new clubhouse and we need it bad. We're the demons from the bush and we need Holden's hand. Here at Baharam we've got one of the best views in the region. Uh, we've got really good participation from our junior programs in our football, our cricket, our netball and our tennis. Um, we need to upgrade our facilities in line with the times so that our small region can continue to grow and prosper. I think the club would really benefit from the new facilities in that we wouldn't be so crammed in all the time. I think it would be more comfortable for people to come and spend time at the footy club. I think it would be the best thing that happened to this club. Um, our facilities at the moment are a little bit ramshack. We, we're a family orientated club. Therefore, uh, we'd like to encourage more families to come along to the club, especially in the community and out of town in Horsham. It'd be great to have more people come along. CFA use it for a staging area. So um, if there's a big fire in the local area, like there was in 2015, um, you have, it could be up to 100 trucks on the, on the oval at one time. Um, Blaze Aid spent a lot of time here after the fires. Every Thursday night we feed 100 to 120 footballers and netballers. And every week, this is what we do. We have to plug in from one cord to the next, otherwise we have a power outage. It's a nuisance. That's a place of last, last resort or refuge during a, a significant natural disaster such as a bushfire. Um, and as I said in the last 15 years we've, we've had three pretty major bushfires here where we've, we've had a, a staging area with uh, volunteers, government agencies, CFA and DEPI and so forth as well as helicopters landing on the oval. Um, in the uh, fire response, so yeah, well, well in excess of 500 people a day during those fire responses. So um, I guess bringing the facilities along with the modern era is uh, is pretty important here at Laharam. On Saturday, you can walk into the, the ladies' change room jammed in with only two showers and two toilets, but two or three teams in there trying to get changed at once. Very crowded, um, and the showers are usually cold. A lot of opposition clubs would agree uh, our facilities have been left behind a bit in the last 15 to 20 years, uh, as evidenced by that split level flooring I'm standing on here. It's a little bit embarrassing. We're lucky we've got the best view in the league and one of the most beautiful oval and the best netball courts and our facilities just let us down. So it is a little bit embarrassing. It holds us back from holding finals and, and um, social functions. I've played a lot of games with the club I've been around for a long time. So I'd like to think that when my kids start with Auskick next term and that set go, that it's the beginning of that long career for them with the club. Our members and our volunteers have all been involved in three major fires and and two major floods and had really taken their toll on our community to raise money towards a building effort that we desperately need to be on. Having, having new facilities will, um, will help lessen the workload for them but also encourage new people in the area that aren't involved to perhaps come the same with our sporting and our other CFA groups. If we have a, an excellent facility you have more people here, more people, more users, the better off the community is. Uh, the first step in that process um, will be a power upgrade to the site. Um, no upgrades have been undertaken since the first supply came here and um, that's what we're asking Holden for $50,000 to help us 
facilitate that upgrade of the power to Cameron Oval, the home.